Hello, everyone. This is North American Mask. Let's go, go, go. And today we'll be talking about the question twenty-two. In a far off land, three fish can be traded for two leaves of bread, and one loaf of bread can be traded for four bags of rice. How many bags of rice is one fish worth? So basically, we can draw an equation. Three fish is equal to two bread. One bread is equal to four rice. So hence, we divide the first equation by three. One fish is equal to two over three bread, and we divide by the second equation by two over three. So in this case, it's one two over three bread is equal to eight over three rice because eight over three is two over three times four. So in this case, it's two plus two over three rice, which is going to be D. Here, uh, and now also let's talk about question twenty three. Square A B C D has sides of length three. Segment C M and C N divides the square's area into three parts. What? How long is segment C M? So basically, by looking at this condition, you are able to see that, uh, since it says it divides into three equal parts, we first find its total area. Total area is three times three is nine. So nine divided by three, which means that each side has an area of three. Since B C M equal to three, we can use the formula of the triangle. B C times B M divided by two is equal to three. So in this case, B M is equal to two because two times three divided by two is three. So in this case, we know that B C is equal to three. Because the side uh a a side length of a、uh, square is three, and then B M is two. So in case in this case we use Pythagorean theorem, three times two divides three. Uh, C M square is equal to three square plus two square is equal to square a、uh, root of thirteen, which is going to be answer C here. And now let's talk about problem twenty four. When one nine 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 to the power of two thousand is divided by five, the remainder is what? So basically, we can see that. When we do one nine nine divided by five, we see that the remainder is equal to four because nine divided by five is has a remainder of four. When we do one nine 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 times one nine nine nine, the last digit is one, and hence the remainder is one because one divided by five is equal to one. When we do one nine 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 times one nine 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 times one nine nine nine, the last digit must be nine, and hence remainder is four. When we do one nine 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 times one nine 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 times one nine 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 times one nine nine nine, the last digit must be one, and hence remainder is equal to one. From this, we see that the remainder follows a pattern where, given a number one nine 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 over two to the power of n divided by five, when the n is odd, the remainder is equal to four one divided by five, and when n is even, the remainder is one、uh, one divided by five. Since n is even because two thousand is even, the remainder needs to be equal to one, which is going to be b. Here we come to the end of our lesson, and I hope you have learned a lot. See you next week. Bye bye.